the only reason I like your flat um, here is because you have an ace under. That's uh, what I mean. My, yeah. my hand is quite strong for the conditions. I have two dead cards. They're all wheel cards. Uh, and so my hand, like my my hand strength, is actually substantial. I I, I could happily cap for value. Yeah, here. and I think I'd prefer that. Honestly, you prefer capping, especially just with 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 an ace out. Like it looks less likely that you have an ace under with an ace out, and you've got the five out. You're like super live, and I like uh, I would like you taking uh, the initiative. Uh, throughout this hand, if you both catch low, uh, you still have that fold equity because you're still betting, as opposed to calling if you pair up and and right. not really know what he has. Well, I I, th I think yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying, but uh, and and I agree from a value perspective. Like my hand is definitely worth putting all the money in here. Mm -hmm. Like if it were possible to shove, I would shove. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, I mean, if I thought I was going to get called, shove and get called, I would definitely shove and get called. But. Um, uh, my point is that m my hand is so strong that I can actually make a call when I brick on fourth, even when there's only one raise in the pot. Yeah, Whereas if yeah. I were to three bet it, then that that call would look totally automatic. And yeah, here, yeah. The, the, my call actually looks stupid. Uh, and uh, this is an interesting situation. I can't raise for value here mm -hmm. be because it's so unlikely uh, that. I mean, this, there weren't sixes out, so it's possible that the six paired him, but I'd have to put him specifically on a six. Mm -hmm. uh, because there was another five out, uh, and, uh, it's hard for me to give him credit for a five in the hole. So I feel like now he's either got a made six, which I, I have reasonable equity against. You know, I don't like it, but I have some equity against it. Uh, or he's... Uh, or he's got a pair, and I'd just as soon let him keep betting his hand. Like, do you agree there, or, or uh, like, would you ever There's raise? No here? way, I'm raising here. Okay. So it used to be actually, uh, this is, <laughs> to be honest, uh, a spot. This exact spot. If he catches a seven, it's different. Um, I think um, this is one of those spots where I would justify uh, in a in a in a pot where a ton of money wasn't put in even even if there was a bunch of money put in folding just because is legitimate yeah i i just yeah. i justify my four street call by the fact that i can probably get away from it on fifth even though you know it looks pretty crappy to fold a you know wheel draw on five streets but his board is is so good and you're most likely chasing uh, a ton of the time. Well, m my my continue my consideration here is that on later streets like at the moment he's either got a pair of sixes which is, uh, um, it's a reasonable yeah, yeah, possibility. Yeah, it's reasonable. Uh, or he, ha he could have, conceivably, he could have something like a seven in the hole. Um, he could have seen, he could have a five in the hole, and that could have get, made him excited about his starting hand, so he could have something like seven five in the hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, like, I, I think I have reasonable equity against yeah. the hands that he could have. Right? Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah, and, absolutely. Well, I mean... It, it appears that way. I mean, right. I <laughs> and in, in the, this is a this is a, a case where I would have a no brainer call down if I had inflated the pot on Third Street. Uh -huh. Like that would have made made my hand like uh, kind of automatic. Um, in those situations where he actually has the hand has a better hand, that makes him a bunch more money. I don't think it ever makes me a bunch more money because he li clearly likes his hand and he has a strong hand. So I'll I'll have an opportunity to get a raise in if I bank. Uh, like if I make a six, I'm definitely going to raise. Uh, and if he, and if I make a wheel, I have a feeling I'll be able to get several bets in. You know, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be able to get at least one raise in. So you're planning on calling down? If say everyone, I mean, you're planning on calling down with a ten, yeah. If everything bricks out, if like, he, if, if he makes, uh, if he pairs the six uh, and leads the river, I probably have to call with a ten. Yeah, I yeah. agree. It's just uh, even though the pot is not necessarily big enough. All right, now here's now um. Uh, I'm actually a little bit annoyed if I lead here I, because I think this is an automatic check raise. For the same reason that we talked about the other hand, for the same reason I like the lead as opposed to the check raise, and the other hand is the same reason I like your lead as but opposed to check raise. The reason, hand. if you I were this goes back to your third th street, to my you third street, it. to the third street and the stupid call on yeah, fifth yeah. Street, on fourth street. I, if I check here, it looks so much like I have the kind of medium strength or weak hand that I've been representing all along. And he's right. but he's represented like a super strong hand, which means that I'm. I would expect him to bet, and try to get me to fold the kind of hand that it looks like I have. Which well, is what I'm saying is, after you made that four, uh, call on fourth, you pretty much defined the fact that you made a very strong flat on third. I think any underselling that you did on third flies out the window on fourth, and all he's done is represent some serious strength. So I see him. I can see you checking to him and him betting, uh, but I can see him doing that like really le legitimately like 
this is the perfect card for you to hit my besides the two, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, but I don't hate a check race, obviously, and I would, pro you know, I obviously just did the exact same thing. I, you know, I break basically check race. The, but the reason that I'll be annoyed if I lead is that uh, it gives him an excuse to get away from his hand. If he has um, like a pair of sixes here. If if I have a very strong hand, then he's drawing very thin, and he's not going to call a bet on the river. And I'm getting I'm getting all the value out of the hand that I can now. Um, I would like to be check raising here. It it will also make him suspicious given the way that I've played the hand. And if he makes a hand as weak as a as like an eight six on the river, I I believe I'll get a, I'll get paid off. I don't think you're losing him on any street if you lead. I, I'm glad you led. This is great. All right. Now this I don't like this. You don't like three betting. Yeah, I just. Uh, now, given that he flatted there, I have an easy b lead on the river with a six. Well, wait. <sighs> Maybe I do like three betting. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, this this is plays into all the the, the way that I've played the hand up until yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, is yeah. I'm I'm trying to get extra value when yeah. I'm pretty sure that I have the best hand by convincing him that my hand wasn't that strong. So, um, if I'm going to lead here, then I'm then I have to three bet. Maybe I like. Maybe I like. Uh, lead call, lead call, like lead call on uh, on fifth and lead call now on seventh. At this point, there's there are very th there's very few hands that he can have that beat me. And given that he flatted on sixth street, at th that he flatted the three bet on sixth street, is there any reason not to bet the river? I mean, would you go for a check raise on the river given the flat on sixth street? No, nah, for sure, for sure. I, I just I like what you did. I mean, after he after he just flooded, after he just flooded that three bet, then yeah, yeah, you lead river automatically. I don't know if you can see this, but in the chat he typed really, as though he didn't believe that I played that hand that weekly. So this is over. So at. yeah, he he had a six five, um, yeah. and I'm gonna assume that he started with uh, five four deuce as his starting hand. Yeah, I agree.